For this video, I'm going to be showing you some really simple tricks of how to use your iPhone or any phone actually to take some good photos for your social media posts. You don't have to be a photographer or an expert or have any great equipment to, uh, to be able to do this. It's just knowing some tricks and tips. So hi everyone, my name is Vic Walker and I'm here to help makers and creators convert their hobby into a business and help them out with their social media, business ideas. I have my daughter here today with me. She's just in the middle of painting, but this is Indy. And Indy's gonna be my model and she's gonna help me take some photos. Thank you. You just need to have a creative eye and just, you know, change your perspectives a little bit. First tip is to use your phone. So as you see your black screen here, just polish it up. It's very reflective. So you could use that as a mirror. So if you have two phones, you can take a picture of somebody using another phone and using the screen of your phone as a mirror, like this. Tip number two is there's a panoramic function in your phone. You could use that to do a lot of tricks, not just to, you know, to do a panorama of a scenery, but you could turn it vertically and you can take a photo of a person like say for example moving their arms in the end result you could see the person having multiple arms another shot is to take a picture in a mirror so you could face the mirror you could even have an accessory on like a hat or something and then when you pan around with the panoramic you could face the camera so that in the end results both images are actually looking at the camera and that gives it kind of like a really quirky scary effect another easy effect is if you've got a hole puncher like this um, and a colored piece of paper or it could be white doesn't matter and you help punch a hole and you can take a photo through the hole to frame it and I know if you're a crafty person like me you've got heaps of hole punches lying around and you could take photo with different types like a star or um, or a butterfly and that could frame the picture quite nicely too and you can try it with different colors uh, tip number four is you can spray some water on a window like a large window or if you don't have a window you can just use a a glass like from um, from an old frame or something you can spray some water on it let it drip and take a photo behind the glass and it gives you that you know that raining kind of look if you put your phone on portrait mode it just gives it even more a more softer nicer effect and then after that you could increase the contrast or the brightness on your phone or you could even just take away the color and uh, make it a really nice black and white photo if you are enjoying this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a like and a comment if you've got any other ideas for taking photos or you know editing movies or anything for your small business. That would increase the algorithm. It would have more people like yourself, makers and creators or video makers find me um, so that you know we could help each other. Also, you can find me on Instagram and even more, it would mean so much to me if you could perhaps share this video. You could also use your phone as a spotlight and I think I showed this in my previous video. You can um, use a toilet paper roll and attach it to the end of a torch or an end of your another phone and that could become a spotlight um, and then you could use that to take a photo in a darker um, room uh, of yourself with a spotlight effect around it. You could use shadows, you could use any object lying around, like a colander or a strainer or your everyday laundry basket. Oh. You can use a light shade that has um, a pattern to it. And you could even use outdoor furniture to create some kind of stripe effect across your face or your body. Um, I see this used really creatively in some beautiful portrait accounts, like people taking a picture of a big palm leaf casting a shadow on their spine. Okay, so we've got this. A nice black fence and it casts a really good shadow on the ground so I'm just gonna get Indy to lie down on the footpath lying down so Indy's on the ground there no. and just trying to get her 
face in the shadow. Um, you could use material or objects like lace. Uh, for example, you could actually put your whole head in um, a lace fabric or whether it be a lace sleeve or a curtain and take a photo with, with all that effect and shadows of the lace on your face. You could use vistas, so you can find vistas anywhere whether it be a long path or a fence and you can take a photo using that repetitive vista. You even just turn your image upside down or on the side, you can get a completely different perspective and a completely different result. Another thing to take advantage of is golden hour. And golden hour is just amazing because the sunlight is low in the ground and it gives a really soft golden color, hence the name golden hour. So if you're taking a photo in the middle of the day when it's really sunny, you the sun is directly above you and so you've got a really harsh shadow that casts from above. This is in the middle of the day outside and you can see that the sun is really harsh and it's just right above me and you know it's really hard because I'm squinting. I can't even take a photo opening my eyes. Um, and it's hitting my face, leaving this shadow line around my neck. So yeah, it's directly above me and it's really harsh and it's not a really good time to take any photos except if you want some shadow photos. But with golden hour, like at sunset or at sunrise, the sunlight is so horizontal on the, on the sky that it gives it a really nice soft effect. You could also use cellophane or if you don't have cellophane you could use plastic and use a texture to color in the plastic and put that over your screen and that gives it a nice color effect as well If you're doing, say, a movie, you could do a reverse movie. If you hold your finger down on your phone, it will take multiple consecutive shots really quickly. And in iMovie or in a, a movie editing program, you could reverse that effect and make it the reverse movement. Like, for example, jumping off something or standing up from a lying position. If you're interested in more videos like this, just click on the video at the end screen and it will give you another videos on either how to edit photos or how to edit your videos. Thank you.